Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to East Coast Taekwondo. I'm Casey Mazareski. This is Junior Quintanella, another one of our black belts here. We got another training tip for you today. This is going to be another uh, sparring drill. So uh, what this is called, we just call it the uh, roundhouse roundhouse drill, the hogu drill. Uh, what's going to happen is uh, Junior's going to switch. We're going to be in cold stance to do this drill. You're going to keep your shoulder, or uh, I'm sorry, your elbows up up by your shoulders so you don't hit each other. This is going to be a conditioning drill. So for now, for the uh, sake of argument, for the video, just for an example, we're going to do 10. But you can do as many as you want these. You can predetermine uh, 50, 100, or you could just time it for like uh, 30 seconds, a minute, nonstop, whatever you want to do. But this is how it's going to go. We're both going to throw roundhouses back and forth at the same time. Ready? Go. Kind of cool, set, net, pass, pass, eat. So we stopped at 10 just for the example, but this is a good drill. It helps uh, a lot of things. Your conditioning as far as endurance, um, your conditioning as far as getting hit, because even with these uh, hobus on, you start taking a couple hits over and over and over, you're going to feel them. And uh, it's also helping your timing. So even though you are it's, it's choreographed, basically. You, you know what you're doing, and he knows what he's doing. You both know at the same time. But as you start doing that over and over and over, you're rehearsing in your mind what to do when your opponent throws a kick. You see that kick coming, and at the very least, if nothing else, you can cancel it out because you're both scoring at the same time. And you're also training yourself, okay, I throw with my right leg, throw with my left leg, throw with my right leg. Um, and you're kicking in the same area. So you can work on, as well, getting used to, I kick, I kick, I kick, and I'm staying in the same area. Because in a both sparring situation and real life self-defense, your opponent may or may not move. So you might kick him and he might step back, or you might kick him and he might stay there. So you gotta get used to kicking in both situations. So grab a partner when you get a chance. Just do that over and over. Like I said, you can add to it to infinity. You know, we did 10. You can do sets of 10, sets of 20, sets of 30, as many as you want. Or just get a stopwatch and have a third person just time you. But get with a partner and work that over and over. I'm Casey Mazareski. That's this week's training tip at East Coast Taekwondo. If you have any comments, please leave them below. If you liked our video, please subscribe. If you uh, or interested in East Coast Taekwondo, check us out on Facebook at East Coast TKD or East Coast Taekwondo. And if you're ever in Fairfield, Connecticut, come down to East Coast Taekwondo and check us out in person. Thank you.